Hey folks, Gina here. Welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Bodyguards. I think we're on episode 20. Today is March the 4th, I think, hold on. March 4th, 2021. And I never thought um, that I would really be giving this kind of speech to you guys. I never thought I would be doing this on my channel, but, uh, and I don't have much storage on my phone right now. So I just, it's really on my, sitting on my chest though. It's really on my heart. And um, lately that I've influenced a lot of girls who like the occult, witchcraft. I've took people that were skeptical or atheistic and I've, I've influenced them and they've, their beliefs, they consider it now that this stuff is real and that maybe it's not so bad. It is bad. This stuff is really bad. Um, I was a witch. I had my own witchcraft practice. I had my own business. I made money from the, from doing spells, doing rituals. I would be, um, I had been approached on multiple occasions to teach a coven and to have my own coven in my house, which I could have done. Um, I was looked at like somebody who knew what she was talking about. Um, I was even trying to write this stuff down in a book. I came up with my own rituals, my own. I was very, very connected to spirit. I called my, I called it spirit. And a lot of it was this kind of more Christ-like force. It was an empathic, um, energetic, compassionate, loving force. It was the God force, you know, but you can't, you must, you must exert your compassion or exert whatever power you think you have. It must be in the name of Jesus Christ, the one, God's one only son, the, the savior, um, the Lord and savior, the biblical Jesus, the biblical principles. Jesus Christ is, is the all powerful human being. Um, this is Jesus Christ is how we access the God force. When we try to access this God force on our own using crystals, using uh, tarot cards, oracle cards, divination practices, scrying on a mirror, um, symbology, uh, what else was there? Um, my, my practice started when we try to access that, speak, connect to the God force through those things and not Jesus Christ as their your one and only. Um, you're creating an energetic doorway. You're creating what happens in the spirit realm uh, that's happening all around us is, um, you can look at it like, I look at it like uh, the blades of a blender. You know how they're spinning so hard that it, it gives you that it looks like blade. you can't tell where the blade stops. You can't tell, um, you know, it creates that illusion that there is a full circle of something there when really it's just three blades. They're just spinning, they're vibrating at such a high capacity that such a high frequency um, that, that, you know, you, it creates a different look this is what happens when you are vibing high with, with all these spiritual means, with all of these, um, they are, what they are tools to access the spirit realm, to access spirit. And some people would even call them their angels, their ancestors, uh, spirit. You can feel spirit around you. Um, even if you think they're your angels, you know, I do believe that our ancestors and our angels can be around us, but we don't need all that stuff, extra stuff for, um, for that. Jesus Christ will help you with that. Actually, I promise. Um, Jesus Christ and God, the mo high, the most powerful, the creator, uh, we, they, they, they give us exactly what we need. So when you try to take it in your own hands and you want to talk to certain ancestors, you want to connect, it's not actually in God's divine timing that you are doing this. And you, what you're doing is you're bypassing the creator and you're focusing on creation. 
you're blessing and idolizing the creation and instead of the creator and you're taking it upon yourself to be the creator and and bask in your own creation the stuff that you manifest and uh, the, the feelings and um, people you manifest manifestation is real um, all of the stuff you see on the internet you might on YouTube and stuff and you might be skeptical skeptics I don't even deal with skeptics anymore I'm saying this stuff is real and you might and you will um, you will your spells will build you will get better at it and you and the enchantment your other people are feeling around you is real um, it's absolutely happening you're not imagining things your power is building but if it's not through Christ you might attract ancestors and and angels and all that and and really great things happening synchronicity um, you might you'll attract those things but you will spend a lot of your time cleaning up disasters cl cl cleaning up crises chaos drama um, it'll make you available it makes you available to negative forces they say that person, okay, like say a, neg a demon in the spirit realm is looking to attach to uh, a body, to attach and use the energy of somebody uh, who's out, whose energy can create, right? Because when you're in that state, you're in the creator's state. You're in a high frequency, high vibing. Um, they, These spirits, positive and negative, they see, um, they see that... They see that your energy looks like that. It, it, and I think it has a sound in certain people. Sometimes the, the pitch is like high and sometimes it's more low vibing. But either way, you're dabbling in this stuff. So your energy is, is moving like that. And they, in the spirit realm, they, they see that as a doorway because it is a doorway. It absolutely is a doorway. Um, Now, people who are believers in Jesus Christ and biblical principles, uh, they don't experience that and they're protected. See, the demons, negative forces, they can't actually access you when you're protected by Jesus, when you believe, when you're a true believer. And the more you hunker down and like value the biblical principles, the more you love the biblical principles, not just I have to follow them. It's so hard to follow them. No, you love those principles because God gave them to you to, to give you a happy life. Um, the more that you vibe like that, um, everything just works out for you in, in that, that state of frequency. And you give all glory to God. You give all glory to the Most High God, to Jesus Christ. Um, you know, that is a very special relationship. Now, if you do, did witchcraft like I did, and, and I, I played with all that other stuff too, um, you will get what you create, but it's it's flawed. It's through this flawed, um, man-made. You can create only as far as your imagination can, can create. Uh, and you will, you will manifest and create things that are exciting to you that are like, whoa, wow, look at that. I can't believe it happened like that. That worked out for me. But you've also invited in uh, negative spirits and you will have demons. You have them in your house. You have them circling around you. Certain people you might meet can feel that energy on you, whether they know you're a witch or that you're doing all this sorcery and stuff, whether, whether, uh, whether they know that about you or not, these people that are influenced by Jesus, who commune with Jesus, remember they're protected often by by Jesus and, and God. And no matter how much you think you're worshiping God, um, if, there, if Jesus is not involved as, as number one, number one and only, um, you start to repel energetically, you, you don't become a match. You guys are not matches for each other anymore. Um, and honor and glory start to leave your life. So more and more. So witches might have an amazing life that they've built for themselves on the earth. Um, but 
there's an honor and a glory missing from their life. Uh, they don't, they don't hang around with people that are also glorious, righteous, honorable. You notice those people leave your life more and more and you start to have much more carnal earthly people around you and they might think you're awesome, but they're not righteous. You're cleaning up the messes of hanging around with people whose values are not centered in Christ. You see? Um, so, and Jesus is always right there. God is always right there. Um, and, and you know, we don't, Jesus doesn't send us the demons that end up coming to, into our life. Jesus doesn't do that. But Jesus is there when we say, help me get rid of this. I'm, I've made a mistake. Like, please. I call out to you in the name of Jesus Christ, which is a very powerful phrase there, the name of Jesus Christ. Um, Jesus Christ will come and and he will clean up your demons. He will clean them up and get rid of them. But it requires you to give up that, you know, it, it requires you to give up um, what you were doing before. And Jesus might not make you even renounce them right away. Um, he might take care of some of the worst kind of demons, pressure building up in your life. But what happens when you invite Jesus in to your heart, into your life, live by the principles of the Bible, honor the statues and commandments, the virtues. Um, you know, that, that, that voice in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit comes at you more and more. Get rid of that stuff rid of that stuff and eventually you realize oh how nice I don't I don't even have to use all that stuff to access the Lord to access the Creator to feel like a spiritual being I but what takes place um, your relationship with Christ is really cool after you've done all of the the wizardry and stuff because because you taste of devotion when you have a spiritual witchcraft practice you know devotion and you know what I'm talking about and so imagine you come back to Christ and you have the tools spiritually to call Christ in you're not spiritually an infant anymore and so you can work on the next level um, and those demons start to leave you they don't they're not a match for you anymore they're not as attracted to you anymore new levels new devils sure but um, If you have that stuff in your house, what do you, you need to, to make it so that those things lose their power. And that's a big, that's a big thing. It's not necessarily the, uh, the stuff that you have in your house. It's the, the idolatry. It's the power you're giving those things. And also you need to stop looking at yourself like an idol, like God. You are not God. You're not. Um, if you want to be a God on this earth, then you will pay for that in the next. You're going to pay for that. Um, anybody who does witchcraft, wizardry, sorcery, spellcraft, um, new age spirituality, all that stuff. Um, you need to listen to what I'm saying. I hope it, I, I trust it's going to sit on the right hearts. And if this bothers your spirit, that's okay. Let it bother your spirit. But don't, don't make any harsh, rash movements. You really have to let this process happen and unfold. But I promise, you invite that stuff in, the demons are coming to your life. You might even have a boyfriend or a girlfriend that you've attracted that, that you feel is your divine masculine or divine feminine or whatever. You guys feel there, it has this quality to it that is so much pleasure. Um, it takes the place of Jesus. And no, this is not good. And in the spirit realm, yeah, these demons might show up as the love of your life that you have such a hard time getting over when it ends. And some of them will even be biblical. They'll even be, you know, my ex-narcissistic boyfriend, my divine masculine, which is what he was. Um, he, he would recite biblical, um, he would recite the, God, I'm having a, Someone's standing right there. Sorry. Um, the verses and chapter, you know, in the Bible, the scriptures, sorry. Uh, he would recite them and he, and, 
and it it was so knowledgeable he it was like part of him the scriptures he also had facts that i'd never heard of before about about the history the history of what happened in jesus's time or before hap before that he had knowledge about them even people's names the way you know somebody's how somebody got their name he understood these biblical principles as if he was there and that's because the demon that was inhabiting him was there these demons are still around they're ancient if something feels ancient about your partner that's a big important thing if something there's an ancient quality uh to your partner you should be weary of the this and if they're not giving all praises to, to God and the Most High, to Jesus, and they still have this knowledge, this is, this is an issue. Um, and these demons come to your life not to bring you closer to God. They, they bring you to take you away from God, to make, to, to make you doubt your beliefs, to make you doubt your own strength and, and your own spiritual rights. Um, they also could, can involve you in crime. They can involve you in gaslighting where you're like, am I wrong for doing that? I don't know anymore. Uh, they, they blend your, they, they cross your boundaries and they make your, your values, uh, your, your sense of right and wrong, your morality, um, blurry. They make, they make seeing what's right and what's wrong, uh, so convoluted. But the thing is, you go to Jesus Christ immediately, say, Jesus Christ, I invite you into my heart. Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cast out all demons out of my life. If it is not righteous, in the name of Jesus Christ, take it out of my life. I, I'm not available for it any longer. And immediately, a lot of them will just, and, and they'll just poof, goodbye. It's like that. Another thing that starts to happen, though, is a spiritual attack. Um, and I'll do that in the next video. Spiritual attack, uh, as these demons are, like, trying to cling on to you. They're trying to, they want you. Um, they want you to doubt your own spiritual beliefs. And, okay, I have to hang up. That's my daughter. Uh, more in the next video. Thank you.